How you doing guys? You're here with me, LionXV, and today I am playing The Chronicles of Nyanya, which I think is uh, Narnia. So this game is uh, like a JRPG kind of thing, uh, comedy, um, and again given to me by the devs, so thanks very much for that. Also, I have managed to procure three extra keys for this game, which I am giving away to my subscribers. So uh, none of the usual bullshit you have to do, you know, you don't have to share or subscribe or any of that shit. Just uh, put a comment down below and I'll pick it in 24 hours and I'll message you the key. So we'll start an adventure game. Fat dog and hamster cube. Okay. We'll go prologue. Catalus. Our tale begins here in the quiet mining village of Catalus. Little Purr patiently waits for the, in, for the morning in her basket, completely unaware of the part she's to play in the events that are about to unfold. Time to get up. Today is my sister's big day. I'll go and see her using bubble and talk to her by pressing space. I certainly fucking will. Where am I? Oh my god, that's me. God damn. <laughs> the graphics are funny. Get the fuck out of my way. Okay. That's a woman. Purr, purr. Good morning, purr. Good morning, my beloved sister, who is my sun and moon and who I am secretly sad about because she's leaving home, but I'm trying not to show my true feelings and rejoice in her happiness. Oh, you're such a talker. It's so adorable. Be a deer and go to a forest to pick some flowers for my wedding wreath. Of course. Here is a map to the forest. Just watch out for strangler snakes. Received super detailed legendary map of the Dominion of Katoas. Of course, the snakes are very dangerous, and here I am, poor little defenseless me. When I hit X to select backpack, you see what equipment I have with me? I look at this wonderful map. It can be found with my quest stuff, of course. After all, it was made by my sister. And when I want to stop looking at it, I will hit B, of course. Okay, so happy. I really hope nothing spoils this day. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, that purse scratch. Bought another antique from nearby ruins. It's probably 11 zillion years old and covered with a ton of dust. Yep, pretty much. Right, let's go pick some flowers. Alright, I'll write my sister's quest in my journal, which I keep in items, quest stuff. By clicking on it, I can either show it again. I only write most important in quests in it because I'm too lazy to write out the side quests. I'm such a lazy bones. Okay. <laughs> um, what the fuck have you got here, dude? Nom. Roly poly. Good roll. Good. Okay. Papa purr. These rolls are grow growing like weeds. In a month, we'll be able to shear, shear their icing and start making sweaters out of it. Hello Purr, I heard you're off to the forest. Take this snake repellent spray. One of our rolls was badly bitten. It could be one of these damn creatures. Take care of yourself. Yeah, I got snake repellent. What's that? Overcat is a great all father of all cats who dwells in heaven. Alright. Oh, they all live in boxes. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, those trees are a bit disturbing. I am a tree. Oh, you certainly are. What's this? Water takes special care. Very dangerous. Water is cold and wet, yuck. No shit. Um, where's the map again? Items. Map. Oh, good. So this way? The forest. Yes, it must. Run, run. It's snack. Bad snack. I am Snack. I am Death Destroyer of Worlds. My species brought nations to their knees. We wrapped our scaly bodies around entire states. We were the ones who attempted the first cat to eat from the tree of forbidden kibble. Kids and gods worshipped us. Kings and gods worshipped us. We watched galaxies emerge from the void and fade back into it. Okay. Nothing in the universe could match our power. I've seen things you cats wouldn't believe. Boxes on fire, heading into the arms of the overcat. I watched laser beams glitter in the dark near Catlantis Gate. All those moments will be lost in time. I press the button. Oops. You cannot stand against me. Time to die. Perish in my snack fire. Okay. 
snack apocalypse. No. Oh. Apparently I'm fine. Okay, Strangulator Snack is dead. Dead by his own spell. How embarrassing. Victory, kind of. Um, this looks like a snack pit, very dangerous. Well, they're more dangerous to themselves than to me, I think. I can't get past that way yet. This forest really is dangerous, but I promise to pick some flowers, so I'll just do it. There's no stopping me. Oh. What the fuck happened? Probably. I forgot my basket. Fucking hell. What? Oh no! These are orcats. How do they get past our walls? Oh, I hope nothing's happened to anyone. Pepper. I will wet my whiskers in their blood. Whoa, okay, sister. <laughs> Hi! Come with me if you want to live. Okay. No, we can't. We can't help him anymore, sister. Whoa, he got fucked up. Uh oh. Um, hi. All of these nasty things. Guess there's no way out without a fight. Target. Yep, yeah, okay. If I hit them several times, I'll be able to channel my fury into the secret Kitassin loot. Oh, going to be a lot of difficult words in this one, I can tell. Sister, sister, these orc orcats look evil and hungry. What should I do? Don't get yourself killed and, I don't know, maybe cry a little? It may distract them. So, alright. Heal strike! Yay, what? Whining sobs, defensive cry. <laughs> Whining! Whoa. Oh, it's like magic. Okay. Techniques. There is only the red dot. Katangan. The cat who doesn't forgive. <laughs> okay. He'll strike. Smack him! Violence is bad. Whoa. There is only the red dot. Got him! All these old cats get me so furious. Fury lets you use the strongest techniques, but fortunately after every fight it drops to zero. Good job we used it then really, isn't it? Filthy mongrel. Is this... We don't have time to check every corner of Catalyst. Come on, sis. Who are you? Oh, shit. That's... Yeah, we just miss. Oh no, shit, they're hit. No, oh, that kind of stops magic, does it? Yeah. Okay, that stops magic. Now punch him in the fucking face. Yeah, I need a healing item. Have we got a healing item? Die! Oh, you are shitting me. So... Weaken offence. Right. Increase the speed attack and chance of a critical hit. Uh, there isn't anything that attacks everybody, so we'll just have to go for this one. Knock him out. He's going down. Okay, we've only got the snack repellent, that's not good. Dodges. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, shit. No! Oh, didn't mean to do that either. I didn't even see what it did. Um. Eight light physical attacks. Yeah, I just need four more. <coughs> so if I hit him once, I can do it. Contain him. Ah. Yeah. Is that it? Just glorious and dead. Okay. More whining. 
it's not gonna do anything, I shouldn't have done that. Quick! Hell yeah, not so. What's this for? He has a flask of HP milk in his bag. He probably looted it from someone without even knowing what it is. Blasted green primitive. I should drink it now and heal myself up a bit. The next fights could be more difficult. I can do this by pressing well, I'm selecting items, clicking the HP milk and then on myself. My sister shouldn't drink it after all, she's a miner. She a miner, she works in my mines. Items, milk, you. Yeah. I can't get up that way. What about up? Oh no, it's completely burned. Everything will be alright. Just kill it. May you feast on divine yeast in the afterlife. Sis, what about a cat family? I don't think that... Don't think about that, only our survival matters right now. What the fuck? Ooh, he, he looks evil. Baron Vanderdum. You know why I'm here. You'll never get your hands on him, you stupid underwear wearing jerk. He's mine, you have no right to keep him from me, or to criticise my underwear. And now prepare for an epic fight which will lead... Which will end with your inevitable defeat. And for an extermination and destruction undreamt of your... Of in your physiognomy. Physiognomy. I will devour you and spit you out and then I will sit on you. God damn. People like to talk, they're over. Punch him. Oh, but that's, that's not good. That's not as good as I thought. Subs. Okay. You're gonna do less. Yes. Okay, just keep smacking him. Oh dear. Yep, yep we're alright. Just. More violence is bad. And then hit him. What? Where is the Half-Blood Baron? I hid him in the mine. I believe you're telling the truth. Because you want to buy yourself some time so you can romantically die in your sister's arms. I could send my ore cats to the mine, but that would be silly because the ore cats are not too bright. But I am, so I will go myself. Sister! This is where Grim Reaper will find me, sister. Let me, let me, before the eternal darkness consumes me, feast my eyes on the wreath you have woven for me. My wedding wreath shall become a funeral one. But I don't have a wreath, I forgot my basket. You have brought dishonour on our family. Oh, Chia. Oh no, I brought shame by not having the reef. And now she's she's running. Fuck, here we go. Right. The Elders Gate. The jewel in the crown of Niania. A metropolis of a thousand boxes radiating the glory of the cat civilization. It is here the most famous cat organizations and orders make their home, including the mysterious order of the moving red dots. It was here that the small defenseless orphan kitten arrived after surviving the pogrom in Katowice and was chosen by the dot. Over the years, her claws gained murderous finesse, her heart became shrouded in darkness and her belly took on a mass. She became a new cat and so she took on a new name, a name that would fill the hearts of her enemies with fear. Katea. Peace is alive, there is only the dot. Peace is alive, there is only the dot. Mederating. Meow Ruto. <laughs> the assassin Kaltair Sharkclaw. Master Katso Katori wants to see you. Head to his chambers with Lucy Mew and Meow Riyana. I bet he told you to find in some of them. You just want me to do your work for you. Believe in your dreams! <laughs> bye bye, Meow Ruto. Okay, we've got to take these. I shouldn't bother him during meditation. I sh fucking should, hey, bitch. You're coming with me, aren't you? Okay. You're not coming with me, apparently. Who are you? Novice. Senpai, is there anything I can help you with? Yes. From the Arena, one of the new recruits, right? I'm flattered that someone who's studied the essence of the dot for so many years knows who I am. Master Katsu Katari wants to see you. Oh, has he figured out that I was the one who ate all the sardines? Oh gosh, oh gosh. Bye! 
What about what about you? Okay. Um, what about you? Lucy, I hope you have a good reason for interrupting the chairman of the committee in the exploration of our double forbidden techniques, Adept Cattail. Some of us switch chambers. I understand. Okay, bye. What the fuck? Whoa. Oh my, tomorrow's the exam and I'm so unprepared. I'm going to fail Meowgrassology. Meadowgrassology, I'm sure of it. What do I do? What do I do? Grassology. Nothing made my hatred more seething than listening about hundreds of different kinds of meadow grass characteristics of the steps of the Northern Kafan. Okay. Let's go. Uh, fucking come on. There we go. Uh, up here? No, not up here. This way. Ooh, armor. Can I have this, please? Hmm, this armor used to stand in the Hall of Suffering. He used it to train scratching between the plates. That was often painful, but so educational. Okay. Hello. Adepts, today is a very important day. An experienced adventurist, Clericat of the Great Ball of Goodness, Frankat of the Clericat, decided to hire one of our promising Meow Assassins to his party. Oh my, oh my, isn't that great? I will proudly represent the Order wherever I go. Yes, Master, I want to go on a mentor almost as much as I want to inflict pain. And I want to inflict pain because the trauma caused by the fire in my home village left a lasting mark on my psyche, making me unable to love. Therefore, I use all my energy for evil and destruction, which only emphasizes a void in my wounded soul. My delicate body trembles. I am the dark avenger of hatred. Ooh! Nothing like forgive and forget, is there? I appreciate your enthusiasm, but control your urges for now. Go to a training area where you will take your practical exam. It will be overseen by our noble client. The exam will decide who will have the privilege to take part in apprenticeship under his watchful eye. As you all know, apprenticeships are necessary to become a full-fledged Miel Sassy. Yes, Grandmaster. I will do my best. Okay, why have you got a crystal ball? Can I have a look at it? Cannot move any closer. If anyone apart from the master steps on this magic carpet, they'll be turned into ashes by lava. After all, this is the last line of defense for the power lands here. Let's get there. Okay, sorry then. I didn't, don't want to be turned to ash. I just wanted to have a look at what the fuck it was. I thought it was a snow globe. I feel that this is going to be a very important moment in life. It's worth saving it in memory. Yes. All right, okay, select a slave slot. We'll go for file number one and start there. Okay, Northern Training Area. Come here, fail to <laughs> We're going to start soon. Katashi. Not Kakashi, Katashi. Katera. Okay, hi. Since every kit is already here, we may start now. To start with, I would like to introduce the Clericat of the Great Ball of Goodness, Frankat the Clericat, famous adventurous and veteran of the 27th of War of Furage. Furahevo. Hevo? Don't know. Furahevo? Jevo? Fura Jevo? I don't fucking know. His party managed to fend off an Orcat's commander assault on the city gates. Good for him. Sadly, his mates all perished, so he's gathering a new party. Oh, hey! One of you who achieves the best result in today's practical exam will get the honour of joining his new party as a first member. I'm sure I don't have to mention benefit in future careers. Yeah, you've already said. Oh, I'll try not to embarrass all of you with a sheer scale of my victory. This is my great chance! Let's start with something simple and easy, like a race. Get ready, go. What the fuck? You're going to race to the barrel and back. Come on, move your fat bellies. Go. I held it. What the fuck? You still have to work on your running pulse here. Zero points. I easily bested you even with an injury. Yes, yes, five points. Yeah, I'm in the 10 points of style. Never in my life have I seen more suggestive combat rolling. Thank you, Sensei. I won't be able to do it without my friends. What the fuck? Time for some combat smacking. Why? Lucy, you're going to go first. Show us your moves. Whoa, alright. Chill the fuck out. It's a dummy. Perfect. That's exactly what I was expecting with the chairman of the committee. 10 points. Watch this shit. Oh no. Watch me, Orianas. Stop stroking the dummy, Mariana, or you want to see your punches. But the dummy is so cute, I've never heard something so beautiful. 
Oh, so she's a healer. Why well, Overcat's tail? That was the best cuteness ray attack I've ever seen. 15 points. Oh, God. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Perfect tactics, Miorana. Thank you, Uncle. I have to admit, I'm impressed. Do I get my go now? Let's continue your turn, failed hero. By the way, you didn't show up for the last dodging exam, failed hero. You're supposed to dodge your enemies' punches, not your responsibilities. Since you're here, we're going to do your exam now. Your task is to attack and dodge the Katai. I'll be throwing at you at the same time, now get to it. What? Take it easy, Katai. It's just training. If I use dodge, as long as this status is active, I have a good chance of avoiding the attacks of the enemy. Even if I fail at that, Sensei will probably use wooden knives. The worst thing that may happen is a bruise or something. In order to make things more interesting for our normal guest, I'm going to use my famous lightning katai. Get ready. Shit. Hi. Just, just gonna dodge. Don't worry about me, man. Kick. Kick. You're flailing your paws around like you're trying to shake kibble off a tree instead of punching. Show us something better. I want to see a magic attack. This is why I'm going to protect the dummy from physical damage. Resistance to pain, no jutsu. Well, that was an easy spell. Alright. Take it easy, Katei. You can always transform the fury you built up with your attacks into a rear wave of your dark adventure of hatred. My Shadow of Meowness will easily do the trick. Of course, I'm going to still throw my Katai, so hurry up. Go! Yay! That wasn't really impressive, but alright. My loss. Five points for failed hero. What? Five? Time for your final test. Lucy failed hero, you still have a chance to beat Mariana. This is the most crucial part of today's exam. After all, what swiftness and fierce spirit of a Meow Assassin compared to the strength of their mind? Oh dear. This isn't going to go well. Now we test your resolve. Power of will and fortitude. This is where you can earn as much as 30 points for this task. Mariana will go first this time. Oh my. Okay, your task will be to resist the temptation of an irresistible rubber mouse for 15 seconds. Oh dear. Aren't they too young for such a difficult trial? It's ruthless but necessary. Only the strongest cats may become the assassin. Go! Oh, it's so pretty. Well, every kitty has a weakness. It pains me to say this, but I cannot give you any points this time. I regret nothing, Sensei. Yeah, Lucy, how about you? Go! Ouch! I never expected such a difficult trial. I have to re resist. No, I have to soothe my empty heart. Only you can understand me, Rubber Mouse. Well, it was about 10 seconds, so there are 15 points for your efforts. Failtea, your turn. Easy, Katea. All you have to do is stand still and not move your muscles at all. Just resist the overbearing temptation to smack this beautiful and mesmerizing Rubber Mouse. Think about your trauma. It always turns your attention from everything that's nice and good. Think about dead kittens. That's enough. 20 seconds would be torture. Kate, you're proving your value to us. Or, I should rather say, you're completely disproving my belief that you're worthless. Thank you, I think. Say one more word and I will disprove your face. I always believed in you, really. Master, I will never let you down. Well, and to think the Order wanted as much for hiring you as a stale horse roll. I thought that was going to get a half-blind and lame kitten without a tail for my money. Well, colour me impressed. Oh, good. Oh, Senpai, you're the best. You fool, I wasn't even trying to win. This cat looks like a total arse, and I won't want to be in a party with him if my life depended on it. I'll let you win out of pity, because you never won anything. Next time, I'll show you my true power. Alright, whatever. It's not like I don't have any friends since I'm so perfect. Go away. Alright. Each one of you did really well, Katea. Now go on your event tour. Good luck. Adventure! Katea, wait a moment. I know that in the prologue of your life you were a lazy, unhelpful kitten and you didn't give back to your community at all. I hope that in the years you spent contemplating the red dot change you for the better. Take this HP milk. It will heal your wounds when you get in trouble. Nice. Thank you. Always follow the red dot in your heart. Additionally, you can always read the order of the moving red dot guidelines for rookie adventurists where you'll find numerous interesting and useful facts. You did well, Meow Assassin. There is just one more trial you have to compete before I accept you in my party. Aye, aye, sir. I will tell you more when we get there. Let's go to Clary Cat's dining hall. You know, the large box on the right from the order. Yes, I know. I've lived in this city for many years. Okay, what's, what's in this box? Can I get my, can I get my Kit Kat? 
Oh, hi. Congratulations, this will be your first adventure. Do not bring disgrace to the order. Well, I brought disgrace to my sister by not picking flowers, apparently. As far as I know, you and Meow Assassins isolate yourself from the outside world, so you probably don't know about all the tragic events playing out in our beautiful metropolis. A flea epidemic, social housing, boxes everywhere, crime is on the rise. Thankfully, I'm perfectly informed and I can explain anything you want. Glad to listen? It all started a few weeks ago. The first flea-ridden kittens appeared in the slums. King Nibbler had no choice. He had to send in the splash commandos. <laughs> but despite the district being flooded with water and pain, the fleas spread the fleas spread further. Most of the city has been quarantined and only the temple and order box districts have remained untouched, as well as the Lordship's castle on the other side of the city. Luckily, the plague is waning and if the boat allows it, the situation will be under control any day now. All we can do is pray and wash ourselves with the stubbornness of a better cause. Oh, we like to talk, don't we? Interested in a well-paid task, yeah? Yeah, go on, man. Weird cat. Hello, you look like an adventurous, yeah? You assume correctly, fair lady. I am Francat, great adventurist, and Mrs. Katea, an inspire, aspiring adventurist. Excellent, my name is Hammerine von Pergamea. I have a small and well-paid task for you. I need rats. Okay, rats. Yes, lots of living rats from the meowchical, dark, but totally legal experiments. You bring me live rats, you get a magical artifact. Sounds good. Good indeed, we'll take the job. You won't regret this, but you'll find many rats in the old and desolate warehouse nearby. Cats from them all like pastry mons, and they will say in my home country, gotta catch them all. <gasps> like Pokemon! But no, the great Frank Cat's Bay Party will soon head into the Rockville warehouse. Truly, someone saved my adventurers. Okay, pal 2, save. But my seventh sense of adventurers tell me that this adventure will be too difficult for you, Kate. We'd better come back when you have more adventurers in your portfolio. Or more cats from the party. Okay. Oh, shit. Hi. Purivar. Purivar. Stop right there, Frankat. I, Purivar, D, Meowden, and my Meow Assassins of the Order of the Meow Wet Cats will never let you find the chosen cats. You will never stop me. I, with my new assistant, Kate, will defeat you. No, we will defeat you. You will never defeat us, Hiss. Yeah, of course we'll, just like we did with your last party, Hiss. Okay. The fights and shit. Hey you, you're ugly. You stink and no one likes you. We'll never manage to hit us. I'm sure of it. You hear me? Oh, I'm a fuck down, dude. I feel terribly offended. These disgusting wet cat me assassins provoke me too much. As long as I'm in this state, we cannot attack anyone physically. Of course, I still have some magic tricks up my sleeve. You do? You can't do any of them, though, can you? Dodges. Get them, Smuffin Spider. Get that fatty. Fuck you, fatty. Oh no, a chocolate Muffin Spider. Just bit Katea. Chocolate is poisonous to cats, is it? Every turn, she will become sustain more and more damage. Thankfully, I can heal her with my good kitty good salve and get rid of the poison. So, good kitty good. Okay. Don't worry about the chocolate, you're gonna be okay. Taste this, Clary Cat. It's a tasting. Is it nice? Can I have some? By Overcat's belly, the lint of darkness got in my eye. Oh, the artery tearing so bad. I'm blinded right now, so there's a big chance my physical attacks will miss. It's alright, we can't use physical attacks anyway, don't worry about it. See, watch, that won't do anything. Oh, it, it will! Delight to me. What? I'm all confused now. Right. Stop myself from being blinded. Yeah, I'm fine. Missed. Ha 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 ha. What, what are you doing? Aha, missed. No, yeah, I've been poisoned. Oh dear. Oh dear! Not this. I mean, can you hear? Uh, does this do anything? Never. Okay, this should help. 
Yeah. Do I get an attack now, no? Well, oh, maybe. Thank you. Cast that on myself. And all good stuff. Yay! Haha, list. Oh, I can't cast that. Smack him! Missed. Smack him! Haha, smack him! Yay! Victory! Party with no name or privilege received 10 experience points. We're going to meet again, Frank, and you'll be defeated. Same goes to you, Katea. You two will be defeated. You're lucky that I'm a cleric cat and I can get you back on your balls because you were in terrible shape. Yeah, I got fucked up. Frank, who was that? Anti-adventurous graduates of the High School of Evil and Villainy. They killed or rather finished off my gravely wounded party when we were looking for the chosen cat during the fire of Hurahabal. When we were attacked by our cats, I couldn't do anything. Thankfully, I survived because I stayed in the back. That's why you're in the front now. Only the smartest cats survive. Thanks. At least he had some change in their pockets. So we robbed them. Nice. That's, that's, that's good. I like that. Okay, I'm going to call that episode there. Yeah, I like this. It's, uh, it does remind me a lot of the old JRPGs. So I'm looking forward to doing another episode of this. We'll keep going to see where we get up to next time. But I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys in my next video.